ladies, I'm about to tell you the reason why, the real reason why. There's really two reasons why men cheat. Because I get this question all the time. Like on my live streams, women ask me this all the time. And from a male perspective, right? I will tell you this. Number one, it's because they're insecure. Yes, ladies, men are very insecure. If y'all can't tell, if y'all didn't notice, if y'all didn't know already. Okay, so a man will literally cheat just to make himself feel better about himself. They will cheat with a, a, a woman who is, you know, you could be, you could be, an eight, nine, ten. You as girlfriend and you are eight, nine, ten. He could have a baddie. And he would cheat with somebody who don't look nowhere near as good as you. So it really ain't got nothing to do with you. It's about his insecurities. That's number one. Number two, the sad truth. A lot of times dudes cheat because they get tired of what they have. They get bored. So they want something else. They want something new. They want another challenge. And that's the sad truth. But that is the truth. Okay. However, regardless of those reasons that I said to you, the truth is if a man really loves you, he's really into you, for real, he's not gonna cheat on you. Because you're a precious thing, a precious gift to him. And he's not gonna cheat on you because he wants to keep you. Why do men cheat? I know like myself, many of you guys are also curious as to why men cheat. It's always been a question of mine. And I know in at one point in our life or another, we have all been there when you know to the fact that we were cheated on and we always had a question why do men cheat especially if you consider yourself a good woman so in today's story time i deliberately collected male creators to share their perspective on why men cheat so um if you enjoy the content guys please remember to like the video and definitely sound off in the comment section as to your reason or logics of why you think that men cheat and please go ahead and subscribe it actually helps my channel to grow without further ado let's get into today's video so this question for the men why do we cheat on good women we get a woman to check every box i'm talking about good personality sense of humor take care of business. i'm not a man that believe in gender roles but she take care of home she take care of the kids she treat us with respect she ain't annoying she don't get on our nerves she ain't clingy she a lady in the streets <coughs> In the sheets, she always wondering have you ate, and if you're not, she finna whip it up and bring you a plate. Gonna go that extra mile for you. I'm talking about always thinking of you. She ain't need high maintenance. It don't even take a lot to please. But for some reason, we always wanna go after something that don't even compare to this one. I'm talking about on no level. When people see who done broke up a happy home, they, he did that for her. That's what he was messing with. I've been sitting and pondering a lot of things that so happened to be one of them. So men, why is it that we can have it all and still be a dog? Let's talk. So is why the question. do guys cheat when they are happy? Yeah, so why do guys cheat when they're happy? Because they're insecure. They cheat when they're happy because they're, they have a hole inside them. They, they're trying to find the value in themselves and the only way they find value is by dominating and hunting down primal instincts called sex so they can't help themselves they want to feel as if look i still ha have it you know because when they're with somebody for so long even though they're happy with that individual it doesn't satiate their their void because they have a, a hole that will not be fulfilled without work so they cheat even though they're happy because they're really trying to make themselves feel worthy they're insecure their insecurity is the problem that's really why happy dudes cheat and or they're just in pigs why do good men happy men in their relationships cheat anyway well they cheat because they have a hole that they're trying to fill and they're trying to remember that they're worth something and they use the, 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 I like to say dominance because it's really you're chasing women to satisfy a hole inside you and the obviously the copulation is the, is the climactic arrival of you saying, see, I'm worth something. I can still get a girl to hump me. You cannot be happy with just one girl because you are not happy with yourself 
And, and when you say, why do happy men cheat? Well, truly happy men don't. Truly happy men do not cheat. One of the reasons that men find themselves in extra relationships is because of admiration. The second reason they find themselves and what makes it easy for them to give in to those temptations and vulnerabilities is because the other chick has figured out how to show him a lot of appreciation. She accepts him for who he is. She accepts him with his flaws. It's not right. It's never right to cheat. Don't cheat on your partner. But if it happens and you figure out why, I've heard thousands of men say, man, bro, I felt appreciated. I just, I just bought lunch for her. She appreciated it. I gave her a card. She appreciated it. I get it. She only sees part of it. She doesn't live with him typically. Why does a good man, okay? Why, why does he go there? He's vulnerable. So now I'm gonna share this story time of this creator who has been with her husband since she was 15 years old. Apparently, or allegedly I should say, her husband cheated on her with a co-worker and she met up with the girl and uh, basically found out everything and then she divorced him. Apparently the cheating took place as well when she was uh, pregnant and in a very advanced pregnant stage as well. So we're gonna listen to what she have to say as a woman you know getting the clues the hints and everything and confronting the man and we're going to connect it back with the other male creators that shared as to the logics as to why men cheat so let's hear out this creator okay since i get this question a lot here's a story time on what led up to the divorce from my kid's dad and how i did a sneak meet up with the cheating with so a lot of you guys always ask me why did me and my kid's dad get a divorce since we get along so well why couldn't we just work things out so let me help you paint the picture before i tell you this story i have been with this man since i was 15 16 years old well over 18 years we were legally married we got five kids together like everything that you could think of we've been through it together and after this situation it still took some growing but ultimately like that's my people that's my friend outside of everything everything we've been through i know the one person that cares about me that i could call that got my back is him like no matter what if i call him no matter what he's doing he's gonna drop everything at the drop of a dime and he's gonna come and he's gonna make sure that i'm good it just didn't work out relationship wise so how we stand now is there's no strings attached that's really just my folks but i'm gonna get into what actually led up to the divorce okay so he had been working at the refinery and everything going good he making good money and one thing about him he's always had a real strict schedule like he's just he's not one that hangs out none of that type of shit he works he comes home he's a family man everything else we do we do it together so anyhow you know over the course of him working there he comes home every day he's telling me about the people at work he's never mentioned any females working there at least in his section there are females that work there but they work like turnarounds and stuff in a whole different area so I had booger November of 2017. So rewinding a little bit, when I was like maybe five, six months pregnant, one day we go to the water slides with, with our kids. And while we're there, we pass by this female and she's like, oh, hey. She was like, you finally got a day off? And it caught me. Like my antennas went up instantly because everybody knows their spouse. I could tell by his response, he kind of was like, oh shit. Like it seemed like that, you get it? Then mind you, I'm peeping his response and he was like super dry with her, like basically brushed her off. He gave like a little head nod, but he like kept walking. That caught my eye too. So, and then also when she said, oh, hey, you finally got a day off, she called him by name. So when I, I instantly was like, who the f that? He was like, man, I don't know one of them bitches or something. And I'm like, no, 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 she just called you by name. Like that's friendly, who the f that? And he, and mind you, I know she can hear me, but the don't say nothing. So anyhow, he was like, man, she probably called me by name by hearing it from the loudspeaker. Ooh, everybody knows me up there. I'm like, yeah, okay. But I keep it in the back of my head. So that was the first red flag that just had, like, every, you know how you just got that women's intuition? It was one of those. It was like, nah, look into that a little bit more. So I play it like, I, I, I start looking into shit now. So that right there opened the door and it started my FBI, PI shit. You already know, females, that's just what we do. Once our antennas are up, we're going to start digging. And if it's there, we're going to find it. Ain't no hiding it. So 
anyhow over the course of I want to say maybe the next couple months or so I'm starting to look into everything I've never been one that like needed to check his phone or nothing because he never was sneaky with it I've always had the code it's always right there like it's just like I said he has a routine so now I'm starting to go through the phone. Now I'm starting to just pay more and more attention. Now I'm starting to like, okay, I'm finna find out who this broad is. I'm gonna see where she work at because why would you lie and act like you don't work with no females? Like why would you be hiding that? That's that's like basic to me. So I didn't that it it was just a red flag. So anyhow, he had this work group chat. And it was like a bunch of co-workers in it with their boss or whatever. And they would send them messages sometimes. I, I didn't never care to go in it. But after that situation, I did. Okay, wait. And I forgot this part. Time had went on since then. It had been months. I had been looking. I didn't find nothing. It just, it was nothing that, you know, was solid to me. So I kind of like let shit go. I had just gave birth. And, you know, I was just enjoying my baby. So one particular day. Um, I don't remember what holiday it was, but it was a holiday coming up and there was like a big turnaround in his job. Now, when there's a turnaround, it's like a big job. They bring in all these other people from different, you know, anybody that's on like the little list for the refinery work and it's a lot of people on deck. So I'm like, uh, we got hella leftover gumbo. Like, you should sell gumbo place. Mind you, I know people who make bank like that. They they cook for the turnarounds and they sell their place, $20 a plate. They'll walk away with three bands in one night. That type shit. So I bring it to his attention and he like had every excuse on why we shouldn't sell these plates there. He like, oh no, nah, you know the So now my antennas are back up because it's like, mm, something ain't right. Why would you turn down some money? So anyhow, I, now I want to say this is about January. I had Booga November of 2017. So this is like January 2018. So January 2018, he goes to sleep. I go through the phone. Back, like I said, I'm back on my bullshit. I'm, I'm back to my PI work because something ain't right. So anyhow, I go through the phone. He had a work group chat. And it was like a bunch of the co-workers and they form and they would text all the time, whatever the case may be. So I go through the group chat and I write down all the numbers that are not saved, right? I check the ones that are saved. It's nothing there. But when I start looking up the ones that are not saved, what you think I find? One of the numbers came back to a bitch. And what bitch was it? The same mother bitch from that water slide. So now it's game time. Now I'm like, okay, okay, you got bitch up. Because mind you, I questioned him numerous times about that, about that bitch. And I, I asked him specifically, do you like do you deal with her like what, what's up with that because i just wasn't feeling that little friendly ass oh hey you can finally get it like no nah, hold on bitch. so anyway he started telling me like yeah she works up there but she don't work in our area she not a part of our crew whoop, whoop, whoop. well she wouldn't be in this group chat if she wasn't so now i know you've been lying about that so anyway i want to say i wake him up like fighting with him about it right i wake him up but did I wake him up? Because usually I sit on my information for a while. Anyhow, I can't remember exactly when or what I did. But I know when I finally was like, motherfuckers in this group chat, you acting like you don't have no dealings with this broad, da 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 And he's like, man, I'm not worried about that bitch. It's like a tramp. Like, she's known up there for being a tramp. She with this person and that person, da 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 Hmm, you sure do know a lot about bitch. Okay, wait, I didn't realize this story was this long. So go watch part two. Okay, this is part two of what led up to our divorce and how I did the sneak meet up with the bitch with. And one thing I always been real firm on is when you start hearing a man down talk a random female real world bad, it's usually the opposite. I think men do that shit to try to throw us off or whatever the case may be, but it stuck with me. So that was another red flag. So I leave the house and when I leave, I leave on some mad shit. Just like, okay, I need to go clear my head, figure out how I want to play this. Do I want to pull up at his job, confront the bitch? He's not telling me shit. He's just denying everything. Now he's trying to play it like, oh, you're doing too much. Da, 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 da. I'm like, okay. So, boom, I leave. I go clear my head. In the process of that, I start looking more into the bitch. Oh, I'm, I, now I need to figure out where the bitch at, where she lay her head at, who her mama is. I find out that she does actively work there. She works in his department. He was lying. So, I'm like, okay. Now, when I come back. I do some shit to get all the information that I needed. And I ain't gonna say exactly what all I got, but I got some shit. Now, 
what I sit back and I play it like way cool not cool to where he thinks I'm letting it go but I stopped bringing it up because it was taking me weeks to get all of the information that I needed and now once I start getting that now I got to put the pieces to the puzzle together I'm lining up looking at hours any days that you claim you had overtime the whole nine right so now we're in February so in February, I was able, it was only one, it was twice actually, but it was one particular time where he texted me and he was like, hey, they're finishing up a job. It's going to be an extra 20 minutes, um, but I'll hit you as soon as I'm done when I'm on my way. I said, okay, cool. That was a lie. And I was able to put that together. He actually got off on time. So that extra 20 minutes, yeah, he was with the So, and I, oh trifling i'll tell you about that later but anyway boom so when i get that and it's solid i tell my daughter my daughter booga is now only what three months at this point yeah booga was three months so anyhow i tell my daughter call your dad and tell him i dropped booga on the floor now we lived in a big house with marble floors so you know i knew it would make him worried enough to where he had come like right away so she like well what's going on i'm like don't worry about it just call him and tell him i dropped booga on the floor so she does it he comes home instantly so as soon as he walks in, I'm sitting there, calm as a mother, I'm on the, on the bed sleep. And I said, how long? And he just looked at me and baby, that look on his face, he knew something was up. He like, what? And I'm like, how long you in that bitch? And I'm like, don't play with me. I already know everything that I need to know. I'm asking you to tell me the details and the truth, because if you don't, it's going to be worse. He denies it as usual. So, so after about 10 minutes or so of him just flat out denying it, I was like, check this out, mother. On this particular day, you texted me and said that they was finishing up a job a little bit late. It was going to be 20 minutes. But your badge got you leaving that gate right on time. And then from there, I got your location showing that you went from there to the park right down the street from your job, which is like less than five minutes away. And you sat there for 18 minutes. Mother wasn't there feeding the mother so what was you doing now mind you i'm like in the process of this i'm like you trifling ass because both of y'all work at that dirty ass refinery like i said we not we grown we know you wasn't there feeding the mother so you nasty was at that part doing something trifling so anyway he's like now when i start saying your badge got you leaving at this time it shows your location you went from this now he's starting to look worried now he's starting to do man it's not what you think like you know i want to tell you the truth but you'll be really tripping but i swear to god it's not like that whoop, whoop, whoop. And, and i'm like you know how i am i'm coming to you for the truth but i'm gonna take it 50 steps further i'm coming to you first so that way you could just be a man and tell me what it is before i go up there and tear that up to get the truth and embarrass everybody so just tell me he's still denying it so now he starts like trying to lightweight cover his tracks by saying okay look you know what i'm saying like she she do work there we cool whoop, whoop, whoop. but i swear to god i didn't do that i ain't never did nothing with her like she had asked me for a ride that was all I needed to hear right there, baby. That was that that right there. Because you're lying. You, you're lying now. You're trying to cover it up. So now he goes right back to like speaking down on her. Like now it's real tough. Now it's like, I swear to God, like look at her. Like you, you know damn well I will her. She a bum ass bitch. Like she ugly. Like, like that trash. She so and so and so and so. And it ain't like that. You know, we just cool. And, and I couldn't tell you the truth on that because I knew you was gonna trip and think some other shit and Nah, my so i'm like okay so in the process it is now now it's like i'm getting ready to tear it up and you know it and so he calls off work the next day i think he calls off for the next few days right in the process i'm still telling him i'm giving you the opportunity to tell me the truth before i figure it all out so by this point she was actually at another refinery and like i said because some of them refinery workers they bounce around to different locations if they're not permanent at that site so on one particular day i text from his phone and i you you know how you can throw something out there and it can be interpreted in many different ways that's what i did i hit her and i said hey i need you now mind you if we just cool you're gonna be like what's up her response told me all i needed to know she responded with the what boy and the roll in the eyes 
I said, oh, okay. So I'm like, no, for real, I really need you. I'm like, my car broke down. I, I made up something. I'm like, I need $1,500, da 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 um, so I can get back to work. And she was like, um, oh, I ain't got it. I said, I could give it right back to you. I'm like, I'm getting some money. Uh, I think I said taxes or something. But I was like, I'm, I could give it right back. I'm like, just let me hold it. And she was like, I can't let you hold a little bit. So now I'm in my text messages. And he's been trying to talk to me. And I've been real quiet, real distant. I'm just working on my plan. So anyway... I finally tell him, I said, let's ride and let's talk. I, you, he knew I didn't want to talk in front of the kids. I didn't even really want them to know what was going on. So when we hop in the car, right, I said, get on the freeway. He said, where are we going? I said, to go meet you. And his response, like his whole body language, everything just changed. And I said, I'm telling you now, if you let another tell me anything, it's going to be worse. I said, so you might as well tell me everything now, because once I get to her, if you let a tell me anything that you haven't already told me is up and he was just like man why is you doing this some some something i said and i'm about to get some money out there you're gonna help me he's like i could just tell like his like i said his whole body language just changed but he ain't said he still get on the freeway so whatever the case may be i tell him where to go i tell me in the walmart parking lot okay i'm running out of time so y'all go watch part three for the rest Okay, this is part three, the last and final part of what led up to our divorce and how I did a sneak meet up with the he with. So I keep his phone so that way he can't blow my plan. And again, the whole time I'm telling him, tell me whatever I need to hear now. If I hear it from her, I swear to God, it's going to be a problem. So anyway, I text her. She think it's him still. I text her. I said, let me know when you close. We get to the parking lot ahead of time. I had him back into this one spot that had these big cement pillar things in the back. So I said, text me when you close. She texts. She said, I'm five minutes away. I said, keep these doors unlocked. When she pulls up, tell her to hop in this car. So I get out. Boom. I, I get behind the cement pillar thing. I hear her pull up. He says, hop in. Oh, mind you, I told him she, she thinks she's bringing you some money. So anyway, she, when he says get in the car, I hear her get out. I hear her get in my car. As soon as she gets in our car, I, as soon as I hear the door shut, I come from behind the cement pillar thing and I hop right in the back seat. I said, so what's up? You always meet married men and give them money? So needless to say, she goes into this little long story about how it's not like that. She like one of the fellas and she understands like, you know, people, other people, wives have tripped before, but she don't you know, whoop, 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 all this bullshit, right? So... Finally, she it gets awkward. She like, okay, so like, is that it? And I'm like, yeah, that's it. You could go. So I could tell he kind of like loosen up. So when she gets out, she goes around the front. I come around to pass her. I like bump her on the way. I'm like, like I I just feel like she wasn't being a honey. Like you get what I'm saying? And to me, it just seemed like she just bitched up. I'm looking for a problem. I'm I'm telling her everything that this man then said, hoping that she'll get frustrated enough and tell me whatever it is but when she stick to it i kind of think like okay well you know maybe it's not like that but bitch you still need to know we don't do that friendship so when we hop in the car to leave his whole demeanor changes he's see i told you you be tripping da, 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 da. 30 minutes ago you was just nervous probably shitting tricks on the way here right so now when he starts saying, I told you it wasn't nothing, it's just you just be tripping hella much. So we talking the whole way home, right? And I'm like, man, listen, I'm telling you now, I'm not putting up with no bullshit. Like, it's too far in the game. I'm not putting up with no bullshit. I was like, but we gonna see. Like, we gonna see. So when we get in front of our house before we go in, he like, can we just make up? Like, I promise I'm not gonna lie to you no more about nothing. Like, you just gotta really start understanding shit. Sometimes you be unreasonable. He trying to flip the whole shit, right? But something in my mind, gut just wouldn't, like, I couldn't let it go. Like, I just felt like, I wasn't the one tripping. So I keep his phone because I know if it is something, she going to hit that phone eventually. So the next day comes around and show sure enough. This is at 11.31. Lunch is at 11.30. At 11.31, a big long paragraph text come through. Now, mind you, like I said, she was at another refinery at this point. So she didn't even know that he wasn't at work. So the big she was being slick. But anyway... She texts and she's like, um, I told you I didn't want to be involved in no drama. Don't have me caught up in that shit. Da, 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 da. She was like, and as far as that money, she was like, um, I'm going to go ahead and chalk that. And we can take it out of all the times that you paid for my lunch. Mother, you gave her money. I take off on him. I'm 
broke my nail. Anyhow, so I'm I'm on fire. Like now is I'm like whoa. So anyways, he responds to her. He's like, check this out. That's my wife. At the end of the day, da 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 da. Whatever. So it starts being like an exchange. Now mind you, I stay ten steps ahead. So I had already got her dude's number the whole night. The dude worked there also, and he was a foreman. So I call him. So when I talk to him, I bring him up to speed on everything. I tell him all of the events, how she thought she was meeting up with him to give him money, but I got the money the whole nine. So he instantly was like, oh, that don't surprise me. He was like, two months after bumping her, he was like, I already had um, getting my name tattooed on her. And he was like, and she be giving me all her money, da 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 the whole nine. I'm like, this but he like, yeah, he like, so that don't surprise me. He said, and another thing I suspect, he said, when she knew I was coming to that site, he was like, she told me about a dude up there that be trying to get at her, but she didn't make it seem like she was, you know, involved in it in any kind of way. He like, so that was funny. He said, but hold on, let me call her. So sure enough, whatever he called and said to her about 10 minutes later, she calls his phone. She calls my husband's phone. So when she calls his phone, she's turned up to the max. But mind you, I told him, I said, and you can let her know now I want to see her. Like, I'm going to handle whatever I handle with him. But I gave her the opportunity to tell me whatever she had to tell me. Whatever she had to tell me, she, she should have told me at that moment instead of being fake about it. But since she did, like, now I want to see you about something. So anyhow, when she calls, she like, I didn't... I could have da, 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 da. she she just laying it all out now she talking crazy i'm like okay it's like it's cool because i'm gonna see you eventually i'm gonna see you but choose a weak ass because you should have said all of that instead of making up that fake ass story but nonetheless now now my kid's dad is turned up with her bitch don't you ever disrespect on that nah i want to hear from you either because you shouldn't have put me in this situation i told you don't let it tell me nothing you should have been the one to tell me whatever needed to be said so whatever the case may be fast forward i filed for divorce i pull up at that job i'm trying to see her about something you can't get in the refinery gates it's it's all type of shit he talking about he gonna slap the taste out of her mouth just all type of shit all type of drama transpired i wait i skipped the part okay so after all of the drama that day her calling the whole night like i told him i gave you the opportunity to tell me you didn't now it's all of this bullshit so now i leave i'm like i just like i need to go collect my thoughts and figure out what i want to do now i definitely want to fight i ended up stabbing him it just it was a big old big old drama it was drama right so boom i leave i go to vegas i stay at my partner house for like i don't know a week or two maybe two weeks so when i come back now it's march i come back i file for divorce and when I bring him the papers, he like, you know, like, like, why? Like, and I was like, because I really meant what I said. Like, I told you, don't let nobody else tell me nothing. You should have been man enough to tell me whatever it was. And if you really didn't do anything with her, then we probably could have worked on it. Like we could have got counseling or whatever, but you didn't. So the court date they gave was in September. Why they gave a court date so far out, I don't know. Um, I filed for divorce in March. They gave me a court date in September. I told him. If you're going to save this marriage, you better figure out how. But I know I told you what I told you, and that's just what it is. So now I'm starting to plan for whatever I, needs to take place. I, I'm still living here. We're still. I'm still doing all of my regular mom shit. I didn't want my kids to know what was going on. And I told him, if it can be fixed, you got to figure it out. I don't know, but I know I'm not dealing with this. So, you know, if something spectacular happens and we're able to fix it, then by all means, we'll see. I don't bring it up no more now when i'm starting to just you know don't just think about shit i'm just like nah like i think i'm just done so now i'm just preparing for when that time comes i know i need to move we need to separate bank accounts the whole nine like everything i'm just putting it in place so i want to say right around may june i didn't see the changes that i felt you know could be done you could have signed us up for marriage counseling anything i wasn't gonna hold your hand or tell you what could be done to fix it but i definitely was paying attention and i didn't see what i felt i needed to see so with that being said i just started planning my exit and september comes and like i said i think because i was real calm i didn't bring it up no more and i kind of just went on with life he must have got it in his head that i kind of like you know was gonna let it go or whatnot so september comes i'll never forget the day i woke him up and i was like hey 
you're gonna be late and he was like huh like for what and I said court and he was like man stop playing like get in the bed I said nah I was serious and I went to court and I got that divorce and that's how it ended let me talk about this cheating thing for a lot of people the thing that you feeling right now it'll pass it'll pass think about this ladies from this perspective and then think about this fellas from this perspective ladies you've been with this man through thick and thin right father of your kid uh, structuring your household you've loved on him all of that he had a moment of weakness or a couple moments of weaknesses right from a selfish perspective, are you going to let somebody benefit from all of the things that your husband is now becoming as a result of you being emotional in that one particular moment? Are you going to let your man just, you going to throw that whole situation, your whole marriage, everything that y'all built and worked for just because you're emotional at that particular moment over some sex? It seemed bigger than what it really is. It's really not. It seems much stronger and much of a much more of an issue than it really is, but it really ain't. So this creator has a very interesting way at looking at cheating and if a couple should reconcile after cheating. I know ultimately there is no formula of whether you should you should stay or leave when there's infidelity in a relationship. However, you know it I think it all boils down to the why because I know persons have basically rekindled um, their marriages and stuff like that after an affair and i know you know it takes a lot of rebuilding and you know building up back trust and commitment to, to that person healing and all of that good stuff but uh, the i think the why is what ultimately makes this this decision because if the man has a void that needs to be filled if this man is live is still has has a boy mentality has such a great or a grandiose ego to the fact that he feels the sense of validation every single time then he's going to continuously hurt his partner that is how i look at it and it's as a point where this grace is even sharing that it is just sex <laughs> i mean that alone in itself is enough reason for you to walk away because that means that uh, you will never ever satisfy that man and he will never ever be fulfilled so therefore he will never ever see himself in a committed relationship because if he can just acquaint um his self uh, is level of commitment to just sex that means there is a lack and there is a void that needs to be filled before he enters into any serious relationship let me know your thoughts down in the comment section especially regarding this particular creator and his stance on cheating and not ending a relationship after being cheated on let me tell you ladies that were cheated on something that your ex will never tell you <laughs> or that most men will never tell you but it's the truth and you can do what you want with this information. Maybe it'll give you a peace of mind. But you ever look back at your ex that cheated on you and you see him in a new founded relationship or maybe it's even going to distance and you're just wondering, how can this be because he was such a piece of shit he was with me? It's because he changed. But what he'll never admit is what forced that change. And what forced that change was him realizing that he treated a good woman like Okay, and that he was a piece of shit. And that he knows that he's fucked up. But he'll never admit that. You could take it to the bank. Let's talk about cheating. I was recently asked by a woman, do masculine men cheat? The simple answer is no. One of the many powerful aspects of dominant masculine energy is devotion. Along with strength and power and conviction and confidence, a masculine man is absolutely devoted and not just to his woman but to himself first so ladies if you have an experience with a man who has stepped out been unfaithful that man was struggling with unprocessed unreleased trauma specifically wounded feminine energy and an aspect of this unprocessed feminine wounding is distraction a lack of focus a lack of drive most importantly his inability to connect to his true masculine purpose. For if a man is distracted by the beguiling of another woman, he lacks focus and direction. And my guess is he lacks focus and direction in many parts of his life. And by the way, the adage of once a cheater, always a cheater, absolutely wrong. For if we begin to look at infidelity as a trauma response, and we absolutely know that trauma can be healed, then those who are distracted with cheating 
can also heal as well. But ladies, it certainly doesn't mean that you remain in a relationship with a man who is distracted excessively. For you to remain in a relationship with a man who cheats or is excessively distracted in other areas of life, this is a man who lacks devotion. He's deeply wounded and in need of healing. And you, as a healing feminine woman, are worthy of more. Keep following for more. Okay, so there's two reasons why guys cheat, and I'm gonna explain it right now. Number one is that man is so insecure, so he has to cheat to make himself feel better. Now, if you noticed, a lot of the time, his girlfriend might be beautiful, and he'll cheat with somebody that doesn't even look as good as her. And the reason number two is guys simply get tired of what they have. They can have the most precious and best thing in front of them. They'll get tired of it. They'll want something else. And that's the sad truth. But let me tell you one thing. The men that truly love their ladies won't cheat. Guys, never make the mistake of thinking that you can do something. You can cheat. You can hide something on your phone. And the woman that you're with, she won't find out. Trust me. She knows. Women are naturally smarter than us anyway. By nature, that's how they are. So trust me, they know. And one of the worst things you can do is to have a situation where she knows, but she just didn't tell you that she know. And now she's giving you that, that side eye every time you look at her. She just seeing you as a different person. But now she's doing things for you out of obligation. She don't want to. She's doing it because she feel like she have to. You come in the house and she give you dinner because she have to, not because she want to. She's having sex with you now, not because she have, because she want to, but because she feel like she have to. And that's a situation that you don't want to be in. So just treat her right, please. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video, guys. If you want more content like this, go ahead and click the next video that is on your screen. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already done so. As per usual, guys, my name is Jody, and I aspire to inspire. Until next time, guys what good